Hi Capricorn, this is your September 2021 Just Cause Reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for September 2021 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for September 2021 in love. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for September 2021 in love. Show me one second. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn, Capricorn, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Capricorn, this is you. This is your partner. So, Capricorn, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For September 2021, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Capricorn, is the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Capricorn, this is what's on both you guys' minds. It could be something going on with work or business, but it could also be that someone is wanting to work things out, willing to put in the work here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for both you and your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, you know, someone could be feeling extremely weak here, okay? Someone could tell me that they're trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something clarify strength for Capricorn and their partner clarify strength for Capricorn and their partner clarify strength for Capricorn and their partner it is clarified with judgment now judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys's relationship Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, you know, someone may be trying to resist here because someone is asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or someone is trying to muster the strength and courage to come in to ask for forgiveness in a second chance. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify judgment. For Capricorn and their partner. Clarify judgment for Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with the hangman. 
could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you or your partner may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But listen, you guys may be stagnant right now. Mm -hmm. Or someone is changing their perspective. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn and their partner. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So listen, maybe is there some type of weight and someone is trying to be strong here to wait on some type of judgment concerning work or business or opportunity here for work. However, someone could be mustering the strength and courage here to come in and ask for forgiveness and a second chance. You guys were stagnant, but maybe they're wanting to start new and willing to work on this. Capricorn, you have the Six of Pentacles. You have, I mean, really? Six of Cups. You have the Eight of Wands. You have the Hierophant. Your partner has the Knight of Pentacles. Your partner has the Queen of Cups. And your partner has the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So, Capricorn, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds. You know, this can be work or business, but it could also be someone wanting to work things out, okay? Someone is trying to be strong here, okay? Maybe waiting on some type of judgment or decision here. It's hanging in the balance. And it very well could be about an opportunity for work or business. However, we could be working things out here. And someone is mustering the strength and courage to come in and ask for forgiveness and a second chance. You guys were stagnant, but someone is changing their perspective. Maybe wanting to come in and offer some type of stability, okay? Or commitment, wanting to work on things. Capricorn, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, listen. Okay, you could be dealing with this person from your past. Someone may want to reconcile here. Or you're telling me that something from the past was brought back up here. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Six of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. But all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Capricorn, listen, you could be all up in your head fantasizing about reuniting with this person from your past. You could tell me this person from your past had other options and may have explored some of those other options. You could also tell me that it could be something from the past being brought back up that makes you needing to make a choice here, okay? Capricorn, you have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Capricorn, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve distance or travel. You can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Eight. Clarify the Eight of Wands. 
a Capricorn. Clarify the Eight of Wands. I don't know why. Listen, I don't know why. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting, a little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So listen, Capricorn, is it that you guys had this heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another and you're standing your ground here? You're standing by what you said? Are you telling me that, listen, your guard is up, you don't trust, you're suspicious, that we're, they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else? Was it that they had other options and explored some of those other options? Or were there, was there some type of lies and illusions going on here? Capricorn, you have the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but listen, you guys may be in a commitment here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be about dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agencies, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You can tell me that a commitment is ending here, but it could also be trying to start new after ending. And this can also be some type of transformation, meaning going from just dating to engage and from engaged to married. Some type of transformation here. Clarify death. For Capricorn, clarify death. For Capricorn, clarify death. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So why is it that we're having this confrontation over this new love or this blessing here, okay? Was there some type of lies and illusions? Did someone have other options here? However, someone may want forgiveness and wanting to start new after ending, but is met with still some type of confrontation because I still have unanswered questions here. So things are still heated and you're not trusting. You're guarded here. Capricorn. Listen, someone may want to work things out here. Yes. You know, but I feel like someone is holding back. I feel like you're holding back, restraining yourself here. Because someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance. You guys are stagnant. And someone may be wanting to start new or maybe even coming in with some type of token of love here. But it's just not that easy. You can't get back in that easy. 
Listen, Capricorn, your partner has the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So you guys have come to a screeching halt. You guys are stagnant, hanging in the balance here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Three of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you guys went stagnant because there was a third party. That this person from your past here had other options and may have explored some of those other options. Had new love. This is causing a confrontation. However, you guys may be stagnant and this person is wanting to reunite, wanting to work things out, asking for forgiveness and a second chance. But it's not that easy. Listen, Capricorn, your partner has the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Now listen, when we're dealing with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. So children could be involved here. In tarot, this brand new blessing could be a baby, okay? Parenting energy here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So listen, now you have some explaining to do, Capricorn. Is it that your partner's feeling backstabbed and betrayed because they want forgiveness here and they're met with some type of confrontation and you're really not trying to hear it right now? Or is it that you actually betrayed them? Did you have a third party? Is this confrontation over you having new love? Are you trying to guard the fact that you were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else? Someone from your past is an option for you? I mean, that's what you, listen, that's what your partner said. Your partner has the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out, maybe be coming with a romantic gesture, a token of love here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat. Tell the war. One up and one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. 
a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So someone may want to come in and apologize for the tit for tat tug of war toe to toe we had going on for the mind games and manipulation, okay? Because someone could have put in the other person's mind some type of confusion about someone in their past being in the picture here, okay? And plus there was some type of standoff with some type of argument and a confrontation. So we were going tit for tat tug of war back and forth with one another and someone is trying to apologize for that. But is your partner over this betrayal or do they feel betrayed? I don't know. Listen, we're trying to work things out here, but it seems like we have some type of resistance. And maybe someone is trying to be the bigger person and come in, muster the strength and courage to come in and ask for forgiveness and a second chance. We were stagnant here, but maybe we're wanting to start new here. Maybe coming in with a token of love and um, some type of romantic gesture Capricorn, this is your Just Cause reading for September 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week.